All I want for Christmas is Donald Trump in the White House and a copy of Hillary Clinton's mugshot. Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. And I think Hillary Clinton's booking photo would be so popular the federal government could sell them and help pay down the national debt. Nothing like a little capitalism to help clean up the liberal socialist mess. I bet Mr. Putin would want one, and you know Mr. Netanyahu would want one in his office. You know, when I was a kid, we used to have baseball cards and superhero cards. We traded them, we loved them. Today, we should have American justice trading cards with bureaucrats who have been jailed for their crimes. And you know what? With President Trump, the only guy who can't be bought, we just might see some prosecutions. <laughs> Wouldn't you love to have a Hillary Clinton behind bars trading card? You know, the old baseball cards had players' stats on the back. Hillary's stats would include money laundering, bribery, racketeering, dereliction of duty, conspiring with terrorists, treason, perjury, destroying evidence, threatening a witness, and that's probably all we can fit on one little trading card. Now, would the Hillary Clinton behind bars trading card be the most popular? Or would it be the Barack Obama in a cage at Guantanamo? Would that be the top collector's card? Hard to say. Obama would probably have all of the Hillary stats, plus birth certificate fraud, $800 billion Obamacare fraud, obstruction of justice. Oh, Hillary gets that one, too. Well, anyway, I'm looking forward to collecting all of the behind bars cards, like Harry Reid, the Nevada mobster, stealing ranchers' lands and committing treason against our troops while they were locked in combat against al-Qaeda. Well, I tell you, there should be a limit on how many felonies government officials are allowed to commit. Hillary Clinton's criminal record will not fit in the space we have available. You know, Eric Holder would fill up the stats on a card, too. Man, what a weasel that guy is. Sheila Jackson Lee, the freed slave, would be a popular one. In fact, I would trade an Al Sharpton in New York State prison card for a Sheila Jackson Lee in Texas State prison card. And there are enough California knuckleheads that we could have a special series for them. Could call it the fruitcake bureaucrats behind bars cards. Jerry Brown, Pelosi, Feinstein, Maxine Waters, on and on. You know, now that I think about it, the collector's card shouldn't just be bureaucrats. It should be anyone involved in political corruption. Abortion doctors who cut up living, healthy children to sell their body parts richly deserve to be behind bars on death row, in my opinion. And since abortion is a political practice, they qualify. We might be bringing back a great American tradition, collecting trading cards. So who will trade me a Jesse Jackson in prison card for an Al Gore, world's biggest scam artist card? This is Wild Bill for America, doing what I can to make things better. Thank you for watching, and America bless God again.